Vintage divers. It's so much fun. Hi, Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce Cuba. So, I have a box in front of me. Whoop de doo, right? Oh, it's kind of a neat box. It has Scuba Pro written on it. Whoop de doo, right? What's the big deal? Scuba Pro Professional Equipment. Says so all right on there. Ah, look over on this side. What's that say there, Kevin? Can you read that from over there? It says Mark II Visionaire. Mark II Visionaire. So it's a mask. Must be a mask, right? Yeah. Well, if you are already, a, 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 can you see that? If you're already a, a, a vintage diver, if you've been around for a couple of days or, or longer, maybe, <clears throat> you may say, Visionaire, I know what that is. Wasn't that vi Visionaire? I know. That's a weird thing. Yeah, it was weird. It was pretty weird. The Visionaire was produced by Skiva Pro, excellent company, by the way, uh, for a number of years. They had a couple of different versions of it. They didn't really change too much. They had a couple of different versions of the Visionaire, and I happen to have a Visionaire. It's extremely hard to find a good Visionaire in working condition, good shape. A lot of rubber. Rubber dried out over 30, 40 years. This wasn't that old. This is from the early 70s. So well, what is that? That's 45 years, isn't it? Anyway, um, the rubber dries out. The strap that holds the mask to your face dries out for sure. The straps are very hard to find in good condition. But the Visionaire is what I want, I want to show you what it looks like. It looks like this. I'll show you a few pictures here, Kevin, so get your camera ready there. Can you see that? And you can see that there's a first stage. looks just like a regulator first stage, doesn't it? Yeah, because it is a regulator first stage. There's a hose that goes to the mask. That's it. Where's the second stage? That's what we're going to show you. The second stage is pretty neat. Now, you guys are probably already guessing what this is. It's a full face mask. Yep, Skiba Pro used to have a full face mask. Here's the instructions. Also hard to find. In fact, this is not original instructions. This is a copy of instructions. So uh, when I eventually sell this mask, uh, fairly soon actually, as you probably know, I sell a lot of my uh, old vintage stuff from 60 years of scuba diving on eBay. My ID name is C Hunter on eBay. If you're interested, go on there and you'll see knives and masks and gauges and spear guns, all kinds of stuff. And pretty soon, you're going to see a Skiba Pro Vision Air. Very rare. Very hard to find. Those are the kind of words I'll be using. Here's the Vision Air, Skiba Pro Vision Air. If you don't go on to eBay, if you're not interested, at least you can say you've seen one. Maybe someday at the club meeting or something, someone will say, I heard about something called the Skiba Pro Vision Air. Anybody know anything? And you can put your hand up and say, oh, yeah, I saw one of those on Ali Pierce Scuba. There you go. Vision Air. It's an easy. So what's the big deal? First stage goes in the tank. No big deal at all. They have a couple of different first stages. This is a very inexpensive, I think I forget the model number, Mark 1 or Mark less than 1. I'm not sure what model number it was. It's very old and, uh, and a simple piston first stage. Nothing special about it. It was this that was special. This is the special part. I'll just wave it around for just a moment. Okay, what's special about it? Well, first of all, this is a mask that was designed to fit an adult face. Right, so even Kevin could put this on in his big head. It's one day you're going to see Kevin. I promise you, you will. So you put it over your face like this. Seals on your face. Now, it does have a strap to hold it in place. It's called a spider because you see it has a bunch of different legs. Two straps. No, one strap goes over the top of your head like so. And then these two straps over the top, these go around the side. And they all they have special clips and they zip, zip it tight so that now your Vision Air full face mask is securely fastened to your face. All right. I still don't see anything special about it. Well, hang on now. Let me go through all the features. First of all. Inside, there's a tube. You see that, Kevin? That's the exhaust tube. So when you breathe in, air came in from the regulator. You breathe in. Oh, that's cool. When you breathe out, the air did not go back into the regulator. It had to go out of the mask. You don't want it going out the sides because it'll leak. So they have special exhaust. Can you see them on each side? There's an exhaust on each side, right, where that tube goes through. And you put your lips against that hole. You could if you wanted to. You didn't have to, but you could. Sometimes it was a good idea because if you just breathe into the mask regularly, eventually you get a bit of extra carbon dioxide built up in there, but not much. It's not a big deal. Fresh air is coming in all the time. That really wasn't a big deal. But something else you could do with that hole. If you breathe into this mask, that is exhale into the mask, the air just comes out. So you can't equalize. You can't pinch your nose. <laughs> you can see your nose, but you can't pinch your nose. How the heck do you equalize and how do you clear? Well, here's how you clear. First of all, you plug the hole, lean back just like a regular mask, and then breathe with your nose into the mask. And the water will come out the bottom, just like a regular mask. 
to make sure, to make it a bit easier, you reach up and pull on the dewlap. See it hanging down there? I should be, pull down on that, opens up a little trough in the bottom of the mass right there, and the water will run out. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> to equalize, you had to jam your tongue into the hole, hard. Yeah, really hard. And then hold the mask in your face, blow into the mask with your nose, like that, and the air pressure would build up, go into your nose, and hopefully equalize. It wasn't perfect. Uh, you could swallow water, move your jaw, yell things to your buddy, and so on, and hopefully you would equalize. So using a full face mask is not perfect. Clearing the mask and equalizing are two minor problems with a full face mask. So how did this darn thing work? If you know anything about Scooby equipment at all, you know that the second stage is really just a rubber diaphragm. And when you suck in, the rubber diaphragm comes in, pushes on a lever, which opens the valve to the hose and lets air in. Suck in, diaphragm moves in, pushes the lever, you get air. You breathe out, the diaphragm goes back out, lever closes, you exhale. Just like that. No diaphragm. There's no rubber diaphragm in this. How the heck does this thing work? Well, take a look up on there. Can you see up on there, Kevin? Right up in the very top. I don't know if I'm holding this just right. You see where the hose comes in? Look in there. See that lever? That's the lever. See it in there? That's the lever. Well, how do you make the lever move? Yeah, well, you reach up with your finger. No, you don't. Let me show you. Let me show you how it works. Because this is the neatest thing. How about the visionary? It had a lot of neat features. Uh, 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 it was great because it never fogged up. You didn't have to worry about the mass fogging up, the visionary fogging up, because there's fresh air blowing down over the glass all the time. Yeah, it's just like the defroster on the inside of your car window. Fresh air coming in all the time. Air. A little bit too much. Mask. Oh, I'm going to change this. <clears throat> Sorry, Kevin. Just give me one second here. I'll put this straight up so I can get this onto my head here. There we go. Now, if I reach into my finger, you see it in there, Kevin? You see that? I can grab that lever. Are you able to see that? I see I can pull the lever. See that? That's the lever we have to pull. How the heck do you do that when it's on your face? All right, Kevin, here we go. You ready? A demonstration of a visionaire, how it worked. Watch the faceplate. I have to go this way, Kevin. Watch the faceplate. The glass moves. The whole glass on the front of this thing moves. Watch, I'll push it with my finger. See, I push the glass. See the lever? The glass pushes the lever. Glass pushes the lever. Lever opens, you get air. Try it again. The Scuba Pro Vision Air. Yeah. Absolutely unique, first of all, unique. No other product, and I've seen a lot of products in 60 years of diving, no other product used that concept of using the entire faceplate as a movable diaphragm. It was suspended in a, in a fairly thin rubber uh, suspension band, so the whole thing can move in and out. Pretty good, and the exhaust out the size. Just that simple. So you see why it was so neat and pretty neat. And they didn't make it for very long and they were expensive. Oh yeah, you could get a really good regulator in those days for about 60 bucks. A good regulator for 60 bucks. And these were 75. Oh, I don't think so. No, we don't need it. We don't need it. So they didn't sell a whole lot of them and hence they weren't made for a long time. Hence there aren't too many around and hence they're pretty rare. But there you go. If you've never seen a vision air before, now you can tell your dive buddies at the, uh, at the uh, drinking hole or the club meeting, I saw a Scuba Pro vision air. Do you know what that is? Maybe you can win yourself a couple of free beers by betting. What is it and so on. There you go. Scuba Pro vision air. Good talking to you. Another piece of uh, pretty neat vintage equipment from the old days. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed that. Keep some comments coming in and uh, I'll talk to you again real soon. I'm going diving.